Hey, this is Danny. Let's get started with learning CDAS. If you're opening CDAS for the very first time, it'll look like this. Let's open a file. So click Open, and we'll pick a Level 2 file at half kilometer resolution. So we have the file here in the File Manager. We have the Bands folder, which has the raster data. We see all the raster data. If you put your mouse over, you get the tool tips to get the full description of the data. Let's go ahead and open the chlorophyll. We see the chlorophyll right here. Up to the top right, we see the location of the level two file right there. We can zoom in on that. Or we can bring this by clicking the top bar, we can drag it out to get a closer view the outlines of the level 2 file. And to put this window back, we right click at the top and then toggle floating. And we'll go ahead and zoom back out. Next, we have the pixel info window. And this will show the chlorophyll values or whichever bands you have open. So right there, we see the values. And then here, NAN, there's no value, no data there. Next down, we have navigation controls. And this is enabling you to navigate about the image. So if you go click the zoom, we see we've zoomed in on the image. Our box right here replicates the image view. We can move it around, zoom out, zoom in. Alternatively, we could have done this via the mouse over here. To do this, make sure we're clicked on the hand, and then the roller will zoom you in and out. You can left click to navigate around. Over here in the navigation controls, we can zoom all the way out with this zoom all. We could rotate the image, rotate it back, Finally, one other way to zoom in on an area of the image is this tool here, the zoom tool. Click this tool, and let's just draw a square where we want to go, the rectangle, and presto, we go right where we want to go. Click back on the hand, and then we can kind of fine tune where we want our image to be. Another thing we might want to do is view the no data. We can add a no data layer, which right now that layer color is set to gray. So here we've got the NAN values for chlorophyll, and then there's the chlorophyll. So that's the no data layer. We could add a grid lines layer right there. And if we were to go back here, zoom out, we can see the grid lines. These our layers, and we'll talk about these shortly. Let's go ahead and zoom back in on our image, though. And we'll look at the masks. This is a level 2 file, so it already has masks. We have a land mask. Let's toggle it on. We could look at the cloud ice mask. And that covers most of the no data. If we go over to the layer manager, this shows all of our layers. We have the grid lines called Graticule here. And if we toggle that on and off, we see that layer. There's also the no data layer, which we cannot see because it's hidden by the masks. Let's toggle the masks off. There's the no data layer. And the, the no data layer is turned off. You can even t turn off the data itself. So the, this is your layer manager. And you can manipulate the layer stack. The colors are down here. Right here, we can set the color palettes, or we can set a color scheme. You have the ability to view the color palette beneath a histogram of the data. And you can edit the color palette values very conveniently here. Now let's go back over to the file manager. And let's open a couple more bands. We'll open bands which are components of the chlorophyll will open the reflectance bands. So we see the bands here. We 
you can toggle through the different windows, but we're only seeing one at a time. We want to view them all at once. So go up to Window, Tile Evenly. Now we see all of the bands at once. On Chlorophyll, we notice we can move around, still, zoom, but nothing's synchronized. So all you have to do, go down here and click that button and we're synchronized now. So you, now you'll see as we move around and zoom in and out, we're synchronized with all the windows. If we want to view a cursor and all the windows, a synchronized cursor, there we go. Click in that button in case I did it too fast. So now we see over here in the pixel info, all four bands and their values at the same time. We'll turn the synchronized cursor off. Now let's say we want a little more real estate and we don't like these windows here. We have the option to toggle them off to hide them. So let's go ahead and hide them. This middle button will hide them. And notice they all go over here. So if you put your mouse over each one, you can still get at these windows. Let's do the same over here. These all actually go together at once. So now we have a whole lot of real estate. And we could retile them. Let's tile them horizontally this time. So let's close these now. Bring the chlorophyll back over. And say you don't want this setup and you forgot how to get to the original setup. For whatever reason, you've lost things and you want things restored back. All you have to do is view, reset to default layout. Before I do that, I'm going to save my layout. So I'm going to save the current layout. Now, View reset to default layout restores their layout as it originally was. Let's load that layout back that we had just recently saved. Let's restore default layout. We've assembled some useful shortcuts up here with icons. These that we feel are very helpful tools. You might want to put the mouse over each one and read the tool tips, to get you an idea of what the different tools are. You can click and actually move these around. This is just cosmetics, just so you can customize. You can view the toolbars in the toolbars menu. And what we have is Windows eStock. Toolbar represents these tools here. So if you were to close these and we'll move this up here somewhere you can get at any of those by clicking on their icon another quick way to get to the toolbars is right click up here and you see that as well and we can put the west dock ones the menu items are organized they are fairly self-explanatory you'll see the data processors for ocean colored data right here You'll notice they're grayed out. You can install these here. Lastly, we may wish to make some changes to our preferences, say the image background here. To do this, go Edit Preferences. You'll find that in the image layer. Here's our background color. And let's go ahead and change it, say this is where you want it at a, at a darker gray. OK. And now we have a darker gray. I'd also like to point out the help menu here. We have an internal help that is very useful that you can look up the various tool names. If on the first page, you can see the icons and go directly to uh, the page for them. And that's about it. For more information on the other features of CDAS, see our upcoming videos or visit the CDAS website.